Hello everyone. How are you? I am here speaking to you today about something really special. I promised you before that is the most important thing for me is to share with you every knowledge I know. And today I want to share about a miracle tree. That tree can save lives, millions of them. And as Gerda said, the hardest thing to see is what is in front of your own eyes. A lot of times we don't see the benefits and the gifts that we have. And it's sad, but I am going to share with you the miracle of the Moringa tree. The Moringa tree is a tree that has leaves that are really, really loaded with nutrients that can save millions of lives, especially when we live in an environment and a global environment that is fostering only, unfortunately, malnutrition and very poor nutrition. Even the most expensive places do not have natural food that is really rich and dense in nutrients. So the Moringa tree, and the one in particular, there's many, many kinds of these trees, but the one I'm going to focus on, there's many types of it, is the Moringa olifera from India. But this tree is also known as the miracle tree. Of course it's the miracle tree because it's loaded with amino acids. It has antibacterial properties, it has antifungal properties, and it has anti-cancerous property. They also call it the drumstick tree. And they call it also the horseradish tree, the way it looks, you can see it. Um, it's, um, it's from, also they call it mother's best friend. Of course it would be the mother's best friend. Um, sometimes they call it the crazy tree. Well, of course it is a crazy tree. If it's that miraculous, and if it has every single nutrient that your body needs, wouldn't you call it the crazy tree? Wouldn't you call it the miracle tree? And today I'm sharing with you about the miracle tree. Back in the time, in antiquity, people knew about the Moringa tree. It originated in India, and there's so many different varieties of it. The one I'm going to focus on today is the olifera tree from India. Again, uh, it's that plant, uh, that tree was planted all over the world now, and we have, it's mostly dense in Southeast Asia, in Africa, and uh, Mexico, or, um, um, you know, um, the southern part of, of the U.S., uh, the Americas. Now, what values does it have? If you could believe that that tree has seven times as much the amount of vitamin C that you will have in an orange, how amazing could that be? The tremendous amount of vitamin C you get just from the leaves of that vitamin that, that from the tree is unbelievable. Just one gram of the leaf provides you with this. It also gives you four times the amount of vitamin E that you find in a carrot. Not only that, but also twice as much the amount of protein that you find in milk. Now, how about potassium? It's loaded with potassium. And many of us now who are very conscious about sugar, we are shying away from the use of bananas. So imagine the potassium content that you find in in one gram of, of moringa, it's equal as three times as the one that you have in three bananas. So again, seven times the amount of orange, uh, vitamin C in an orange, four times the carrot, a uh, vitamin E in a carrot, four times the calcium in milk, twice as much protein as in yogurt, and three times as much potassium as in bananas. Wow, is that amazing or what? Not only that, but that tree has massive, major medicinal properties. That tree is loaded with antibacterial peptide. 
they call them antimicrobial peptides because they're not only bacterial, but they're also antiviral and antifungal and, and antibacterial. So, and they are anti-tumor. So they can kill cancer and tumor cells. Um, so it's, it's just an amazing thing. So the, 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 the tree, the, 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 the leaves are loaded with vitamin D, B1, B2, B3, B3, C, chromium, calcium, copper, iron, magnesium, uh, manganese, phosphorus, potassium, protein, and zinc. And no one can believe that the amount of amino acid, essential amino acid found in the tree is, is unbelievable. It helps people who live in areas where protein is way less scarce uh, to give them the amount of amino acid that is necessary to be building block for all the hormones and all the neurotransmitters and and the protein in 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 your meats and you know, which is really your muscles and hearts. So it has arginine, it has histidine, and how important is that for a growing child? Arginine and histidine are so essential in a growing child, and the amount of, of amino acid, uh, arginine and histidine in the moringa can save children for starving. So let's forget about just how this power is. Let's just go back to an amazing, uh, diagram and, and geography. The, the malnutrition is all over the world. Africa, Southeast Asia, the entire part of Asia, a, a large portion of the Americas, especially South America. So malnutrition is an issue. And I have to tell you, even North America, malnutrition is huge just because of, of all the um, of the past food that we're eating that has no uh, protein density, that has no nutrition value. So even though we may seem not malnourished, the amount of good, healthy food we have in, um, in the variety of things we eat is not sufficient. So malnutrition is huge. So I have so much more to talk about. So the Moringa tree could be an answer, could be a healer, could be a miracle. It's not just a miracle tree for for just all the nutrition value and medicinal value it has, but it also is an answer to the malnutrition epidemic that we're dealing with. So M M M and M. So here is the beauty of that tree, and we have to remember. The possibilities are endless on how we can use it. It can be used as water treatment because of the antibacterial, antifungal treatment uh, properties that it has. It's a nutritional supplement. It's, it's a lubricant. It's an antibacterial, antifungal. Uh, it can help with epilepsy. All the calcium and the magnesium that we're having, all the taurine and amino acid that you have, could help with with epilepsy. Of course, all the amino acids are necessary to help um, um, a lot of uh, mental disorders as well. So, in human health, even for it's a plant grower, it's a fertilizer. It's 
it helps livestock to eat. So let's think about how important it is for us to learn what nature has to offer us. And I am here to hear to tell you that I love you to the point that I want to share with you a lot of information. And I also want to share with you the view from my balcony today. I want you to see how beautiful the nature that God has given us. I want you to enjoy it with me. I want you to have fun with me. I want you to, to grow with me. I want you to learn with me. I want you to start following me so that I can share with you as much as I can because I feel it's my duty to share with you the abundance of gifts of God that I have learned about and I love you I love you so very much and I want you to learn more about nature I've given you what I can but it's up to you to follow love you